Hi, today we are watching Harry Potter. We're gonna watch all eight movies and this is the first time I'm gonna be watching most of them. This is kind of a secret for my friends, but I've only ever actually read and seen the first three Harry Potter movies. And well, even for the third one, all I remember from the books is like there's a prison, <laughs> which is in the title. So basically anything could happen in that movie or book as well. And I wouldn't know. All right, feel free to subscribe and recommend any other movies for me to watch. Also, I am in full holiday pajamas because I feel like Harry Potter, they play it so much in the holidays. So feel free to get cozy, get yourself a drink. All right, let's start watching. I've watched them all day. They're the worst sort of muggles imaginable. She warned him. They really are. She was like, they suck, Friday. don't leave him. <laughs> I'm sorry, why does this remind me of Twitches? <laughs> when they have to take Tia and Tamara and bring them into the real world. I know that Harry Potter wasn't inspired by Twitches, obviously it came first, but it just reminded me of it. Oh, he's asleep! Sorry about him. He doesn't understand what it's like lying there day after day, <laughs> watching people press their ugly faces in on you. Harry is incredibly sad. <laughs> Is he okay? I believe what this snake is doing! <laughs> the glass is back up, oh my goodness. <laughs> He's just having the time of his life. Uh oh. Dude, grab one. He's so excited, he looks like he's in one of those machines where they like blow the air up and you try to catch the money. You're a wizard. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh. You're a wizard, Harry. You're a wizard, Harry. Come on. Oh, Back from nine and three quarters this way. We're meeting Ron's whole family. How do you get onto the platform? <laughs> Not to worry, dear. It's Ron's first time to hog. <laughs> They're such babies. Do you mind? Everywhere else is full. Not at all. <laughs> I'm so excited for them. We're ready for you now. Follow me. I kind of like her. She's strict, but she feels like she'll be trustworthy. What's in possession of abilities so far? He's so cute, he's just writing down every single thing. To not pay attention. He is paying attention. He's paying more attention to, than the other people. He's jotting everything down. Tell me, what would I get if I added powdered root of asphodel to an infusion of worm? How is he supposed to know? <laughs> Hermione knows, never mind. For your information, Potter. Asphodel and wormwood make a sleeping potion so powerful it is known as the draft of the living dead. The bees are... I feel like this is gonna be important, so I wanna like write it down, but I'm... Cause I feel like I'm in the class too. Why aren't you all copying this Oh, there down? you go. He told them to write it down. That's okay. I don't need to. <laughs> I don't need to write anything down. Welcome to your first flying lesson. Come back down this instant. I don't think he knows how to. Mr. Longer. <laughs> she fully dived. <laughs> she was like, screw the kids. I'm getting out of here. Follow me. Was that him showing that he'd be good at Quidditch? Could I borrow wood for a moment, please? Oh, yes, yes. Wood. I have found you a seeker. You see, she's so cool. She was just in a rumbling class just because of the sport. She's like, hey, I found a really good player. Everyone? The wish and sick. Good. Oh. I feel like they might have given him the Ooh. wrong wand. <laughs> Things keep exploding. She's a nightmare, honestly. No wonder she hasn't got any friends. I think she heard you. <laughs> yeah, no shit, Harry. <laughs> How can this troll get in? What? Hermione. She doesn't know. Ew. That's not... <laughs> I don't think that's how you're supposed to use the wand. Get your wand back. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Troll bogeys. Bogeys? Is that how they say it in the UK instead of boogers? It's my fault, Professor McGonagall. I went looking for the troll. I read about them. Why did she lie? I mean, the actual story was fine. I was in the bathroom and they found me. She didn't have to say that she went after it. She was literally in the bathroom. That's not, that's a perfectly okay thing to be doing. I mean, I get, I get the the sentiment of her defending them. Not many first year students could take on a fully grown mountain troll and live to tell the tale. Well, he's the boy who lived. Five points will be awarded. You see, she's so cool. She she cares about the students. She's uh, I like her so much. 
What if it wasn't for him? He just took it. It's a Nimbus 2000. Well done! Honestly, right now I'm kind of grateful for Snape rooting for Slytherin because everyone else is very like team Gryffindor and I feel like not all the students in Slytherin are evil so it's good to have some adult that's like rooting for them and on their team It's Snape! He's jinxing the broom! Never mind, Snape, I said support the other team not sabotage and possibly incredibly injure another student In Flamari <laughs> I'm kind of remembering something because they keep focusing on the other guy, the dark arts teacher. Something with him being evil. Happy Christmas, Harry. I've got presents. Yeah. Yay. Ugh, this is the first time in his life he's gotten presents. Your father left this in my possession before he died. I wonder who gave it to you. There was no name. I wonder how his dad got it. Gosh, I would keep the cloak on, at least like over my shoulders. Dude! Oh! <laughs> you suck at being sneaky! <laughs> you don't want me as your enemy, Quirrell. Back up, back up, back up! Back up! Okay, so I'm feeling like Snape is a good guy. I'm glad they at least gave him glasses. I feel like they mistreated him so much that they easily could have been like, You can't see? Well, too bad. We're not paying for glasses. Oh, there's a counter curse! Oh no! <laughs> My eyebrows have completely grown back! <laughs> They're so cute! Oh! That's what's under the trap door. The sorcerer's stone. As long as Dumbledore's around, you can't be touched. They have so much faith in him. You'll get Gryffindor into trouble again! I'll fight you! Oh. Neville, I'm really, really sorry about this. But trick is <laughs> total. <laughs> I couldn't even say my joke. I was gonna be like, um... Is it like Avocadabra Abacad and <laughs> just kills him? I tried to kill you. And trust me, if Snape's cloak so, hadn't caught yeah. fire and broken my eye contact. So Snape was trying to reverse the spell or like. Counter yeah, curse. there you go. Snape was trying to save me. But he doesn't understand. He turned around and then his forehead started hurting because it sensed that. I remember, I remember this. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He's like, um, <laughs> is anyone coming? Should I leave? Why is he taking off his clothes? Okay. He's kind of not as scary as I have imagined him to be in my head. Okay. I was like, wait, he looks like a normal guy. <laughs> it's like wrong head or wrong side of the head. Give me the stone! I was just kidding. The more I look at him, the creepier he gets. Is Harry killing someone right now? Is it? Oh no! Behind you! <laughs> Literally the, s <laughs> the same thing as Twitches. Okay, I think it's, it looks exactly like Twitches. Okay, I think Twitches very much was inspired by Harry Potter and I did not realize that until now. Do you know why Professor Quirrell couldn't bear to have you touch him? Love. Love. <laughs> So if he had like accidentally touched him at any other point in the movie, would he have just destroyed him? Cause that would have been traumatizing. Imagine you're like, oh hey, professor. I'll, and then <laughs> you like touch him and he starts melting. Well done Slytherin. However, recent events must be taken into <laughs> account. And I have a few last minute points to award. Why didn't you award them before you announced the winner? It takes a great deal of bravery to stand up to your enemies, but a great deal more to stand up to your friends. Nemo! How did they know that happened? Oh, <laughs> probably because they found him frozen. <laughs> Forgot about him, you just left him frozen on the ground. Gryffindor wins. That was sweet. They didn't have to do <laughs> Slytherin dirty like that though. Like, you won, but just kidding. It's cute though. And our protagonists are happy, so it's all right. <laughs> all right, on to the second movie. I actually, I think it's like lunchtime now, so I'm gonna grab some food, but then we'll start the second one. Harry Potter! Harry Potter! Harry Potter! Yeah. Harry Potter. yeah. All right, I ate some pasta. I have some passion fruit juice. Let's start watching the second one. Even as you have Dudley's second bedroom, purely out of the goodness of a- <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even process that. His second bedroom. 
<laughs> they had that this whole time. They still kept them in the closet. What are you all doing here? Rescuing you, of course. Now come on, get your trunk. Oh my god, hurry up! Oh my god. I was say, make sure you lock the door. They did that for you. Maybe we should just go and wait by the car. The car? The car? <laughs> I'm doing well at guessing what they're gonna say next. I don't think it's gonna, it's very difficult, but I'm doing well anyway. Guys, go up, go side, go side. Or go down. That's not an option <laughs> I gave, but okay. <laughs> the car is like, I hate you guys. Take all your stuff. Bye. Excellent. 10 points to Gryffindor. Who calculates that? And she just announced it, but is there someone jotting it down? The Chamber of Secrets has been opened. Enemies of the air, beware. It's written in blood. I feel like Hogwarts should definitely have a security system of cameras everywhere. The chamber is said to be home to something that only the heir of Slytherin can control. The home of a monster. <laughs> Ron is like, is it your home? Because you're a monster. We'll have exactly one hour before we change back into ourselves. We still sound like ourselves. This must have been great for the actors. They got to play the main characters for a bit. That's not how he spelled it at the start, right? I'm pretty sure that's not how it was spelled at the beginning of the book. Dude misspelled his own name. Follow the spiders. Why spiders? Why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? That's ironic because <laughs> I'm actually terrified of butterflies. Ugh, they're so creepy. They're so like, <laughs> that's what butterflies are to me. Like, have you seen the episode of Spongebob? That's, that's how I see butterflies. What's that? This is why Hermione was in the library the day she was attacked. Come on. Hermione's amazing. Even petrified, she's over here helping them out, putting all the clues together for them. This is the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. Say goodbye to your memories. Oblivion! <laughs> who, who am I? Really? <laughs> so first movie, Harry straight up killed a person. Second movie, Ron is just like, ready to smack a person <laughs> to the ground. It was Ginny Weasley who opened the Chamber of Secrets. What? Not that she knew what she was doing. She was, shall we say, in a kind of oh, trance. Okay. Oh, so it is spelled riddle like a riddle. So why did he spell it wrong that second time? You, you're the heir of Slytherin. He's also not very good at spelling. He's probably related to Jared. What up, I'm Jared, I'm 19, and I never fucking learned how to read. Your birth may have blinded the basilisk, but it can still hear you. Stop making noise. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. This suddenly turned into a quiet place. <laughs> Is that a sponge? No, it's a rock. <laughs> it just looked like a sponge. The process is nearly complete. In a few minutes, Ginny Weasley will be dead. And I will- Just like, kick his legs. That's not kicking, it's <laughs> punching. <laughs> just like, kick his legs. So that he falls to the ground, then take the wand. Oh my god. Never mind. don't listen to me. <laughs> I obviously don't know what I'm- saying there has to be like an achilles heel type area for him oh yeah like that so is harry gonna kill one person slash thing per movie ah <laughs> why did he grab it by the by the blade and where the blood is master has presented dobby with clothes Dobby is free. You lost me, my servant! That's a spell to kill someone. That I know. Was he like... <laughs> what? Was he like, you lost me, my servant? Prepare to die? Man, anything ticks that guy off, apparently. Okay. Uh, um... Okay. Uh, I can... <laughs> I can see it now. I can see that. He was the first person whose head popped out, which kind of like symbolized him being the main love interest for her. And then that awkward little exchange. 
All right, that's the second movie. I'm gonna get some more water and then we can start the next one. Harry Potter. Woo! Harry Potter. Woo! Harry Potter. Woo! Yeah. Okay. I grabbed some arroz con leche, so we're gonna start the third movie. This is where it gets foggy for me. I can't really remember anything that happens in this movie for some reason, except that there's a prison. And I don't think I remember that, I think I just know that because of the title. Maxima. That's a different intro, that's cool. I think it's time you went to bed. <laughs> Look outside, it's like 3 p.m. If there's something wrong with the bitch, then there's something wrong with the pup. Shut up! Right. Is she not noticing? I was gonna say the lights, but oh. Did she die? Where is she going? He better not be- okay. <laughs> I was like, if he's eating, he's a psychopath. I think he might have killed her. Usually he kills someone at the end of the movie, not the first, like, two minutes. Who do you think that is? Professor R.J. Lupin. Do you think he's really asleep? Seems to be. Why? I gotta tell you something. Don't- don't say like a big secret with a person you assume is sleeping. Sirius Black has escaped from Azkaban to come after you. You can't even see his face. You don't know if he's sleeping. Why are you talking about secrets in front of him? Say hello to Buckbeak. Yes. Well done. Oh, well done, Harry. Well, can anybody tell me what a boggart looks like? No one knows. When she get here? Boggarts are shapeshifters. They take the shape of whatever a particular person fears the most. Is he a werewolf? His name is Lupus, the full moon. He's scared of the full moon. Is he? Okay. <laughs> so is he a werewolf who doesn't want to be a werewolf? So that's why he's afraid of the full moon because he, that's when he transforms. Is that like a curse? So many questions. As an antidote to your ignorance and on my desk by Monday morning. That's really cool. Oh, that's kind of, I like that. Harry just hangs it on his wall. So you mean this map shows everyone, 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 where they are, what they're doing, every minute of every day. Brilliant. He better not lose it because they got it first year and they managed to keep it hidden for all these years. Sirius Black was and remains to this day. Harry Potter's godfather. So. Hmm. Oh my gosh, Harry. You can't just run through people. He was their friend. And he betrayed them. I'm gonna kill him! Butterfly. How'd it go, Hagrid? The hearing. Buckbeak's been sentenced to death. What? I remember seeing a photo of the three of them like that, but I thought that was in the last film. Not in the third one. How much older are they gonna look by the last film then? I can't believe they're going to kill Buckbeak. It's just too horrible. Ah, come to see the show! You foul, loads of them evil little cockroach! <laughs> Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with her, but he had it coming. Oh, you gotta free him. Oh my gosh, I hope it escapes, I hope it escapes, I hope it escapes. Okay, we still have a few seconds, it can escape. Fly! <laughs> Why did that make me so sad? The rat with him too. Only one would die tonight. Then it'll be you! Ah. And Harry fully embraced the murder lifestyle. Kill him. But wait one. It. Not him. Not him. Not Harry. You're the reason they're dead. No, Harry, it wasn't him. Who was it then? Peter Pettigrew. Come on, come on! Peter's a mouth. <laughs> no! <laughs> They're all creatures, so Peter's the mouse, the rat. You're a rat! This cab has been in my family for 12 years! Oh my gosh, it is him. I want to see what he looks like as a person. Oh no, that's not what I was expecting. He was with Ron <laughs> for 12 years. Ron took care of that man. Expelliarmus! <laughs> <laughs> That's such a useful spell, they just throw it around everywhere. Oh man, catch him! Like, make him float or something. <laughs> I give too much advice when I watch movies. None of it is probably good, but I try. 
Okay, I definitely have not seen this movie. I don't remember him. I don't remember this at all. Professor Lupin. Lupin, not lupus. Oh, I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh no. Expellius. Oh my god, they're taking him. Yeah, that. I hope they don't kill him. We just met him. I thought she duplicated herself. She's just been messing with time. They're gonna save him now. The little animal. The hippogriff. Come on, stand away. Come on. Have to give him like a treat or something. There you go. Look at the nice dead ferret. They saved him. I cried for him. <laughs> they made me cry for his death. That's okay. I'm glad that he's alive. You see Sirius talking to me there? Mm-hmm. He's asking me to come and live with him. So what are they doing now to stop that? They were actively, they actively saved the hippogriff. I'm confused as to what they're doing. How are they changing anything? Don't worry, my dad will come. He'll come to the Patronus. No, it was you. Just like she was the one who threw the rocks to make them leave the house. He was the one who conjured the Patronus and saved them. They had already had that's why I'm confused. So they already had the effects that they have right now when they travel back in time. So what difference is this doing besides showing us that they traveled, that they were the ones who traveled back in time? Okay, so the difference is that now they have the hippogriff to help them escape. But now he's he's just that. He's, an es he's escaped, but he's not innocent. Well, he is innocent, but he's not proven innocent. I thought they were going to do something else, like interfere and grab the rat, make sure he didn't escape. Oh, at least the two innocent runaways aren't gonna be alone. Oh my god, the freeze frame. All right, that was the third movie. Harry Potter. Woo! Harry Potter. Woo! Harry Potter. Yeah. All right, so now we are on to the fourth movie, and I'm really excited for this one because this is my favorite one, and <laughs> I have not watched it, but. For some reason, when I was younger and I was reading the first three books, I decided that the fourth one was my favorite. Did not read the book, have not seen the movie. At this point, anything can happen. I don't know what, but for some reason when I was little, I decided the fourth one, Goblet of Fire, is my favorite. So I'm, I'm hoping it is my favorite, and I'm really excited to watch this one. Also, I got some tea, because it's starting to get late, and I love this cup because... My friend gave it to me and there's constellations on it, but wait by the time we're done with this movie and it's gonna look a little bit different. All right, let's start watching. I Lord Voldemort, I only meant perhaps if we were to do it without the boy. No! <laughs> Why does Voldemort, just his hand immediately reminded me of the, the chocolate grandma person from Spongebob? Chocolate. I found a cadaver! Wow, we're starting off strong in this first one. In this first one, in this fourth one. <laughs> Am I okay? This is Amos Diggory, everyone. And this jumping in that must be Cedric. Am I right? So, this way. <laughs> same, Ginny, same. <laughs> I knew he was in this one. I didn't realize he would come up so soon. Well, kids, welcome to the Quidditch World Cup. I don't know why my impression of Harry was that he's like, a uh, boy who's kind of like an outcast, but everyone loves him except for the people who are trying to kill him. <laughs> and he's so who's super athletic and sporty. He's in a bunch of the like, team sports, very into the school spirit, and just actually cool, just saving the world a bunch of times, or at least his school. Maybe, maybe, maybe just himself. Because everything's ha is everything happening because of him? Because he's back? Whatever. He <laughs> he's surviving. That's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Ron is inspired by his brothers. He looks up to them. <laughs> I can tell from his hairstyle. Maybe that's just his style. Harry also let his hair grow out. Get back to the party, everybody, and stick together. Oh my gosh. Am I just talking about their hairstyles and they're all being like attacked? Bombed? I don't like them. And their pointy hats. Oh my gosh. Follow Hermione's voice. If you fall, I swear, if you fall, oh my god. <laughs> How'd I know? How'd I know, dude? You, you're always falling when you're not supposed to- Oh. When you're not supposed to be falling. David Tennant? He's in this too? Oh, he's British. 
<laughs> He's British, so any British person is in Harry Potter. There was a man before. Uh, there. All of you, this way. Who? David Tennant. <laughs> Imagine he says that. <laughs> Hogwarts has been chosen to host a legendary event, the Tri Wizard Tournament. Is that literally what the Wizards of Waverly Place tournament is called? The one that determines who gets to be the family wizard? Are those butterflies? Ron and I would be friends. He'd be scared of spiders, I'd be scared of butterflies. <laughs> we could bond over being upset as to why there's so many spiders and butterflies at this school. Alistair Moody, and your new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher. Oh no. That professor against the dark arts? never last more than a year. How many unforgivable curses there are? Three, sir. Perhaps you could give us the last unforgivable curse, Miss Granger. What was the other one? So it's controlling, torture, and death, right? I don't like that look. He looks like he's 17 or 18 and she's a baby. Isn't she like 13, maybe 14 now? By the way, in case you were wondering, the only reason I didn't finish the Harry Potter series was because my brother had all the books except the fourth one, which I couldn't find in the house. And I tried to get it from the library, but it, there were like a couple dozen people on hold for it. And then I just forgot. And then <laughs> it's been like a decade. Harry Potter. He didn't, he didn't put his name in it because he seems very shocked. Harry, you put your name in a couple of fire. <laughs> I thought it would be more like focused on his face when he said it. It was very much just him like scrambling to get to him. Seem to have given this a fair bit of thought, mad -eye. So why aren't they just like, all right, we already have three people. We have someone representing Hogwarts. Let's just not put you in it. Just because the cup says his name doesn't mean that he has to, does it? The Goblet of Fire constitutes a binding magical contract. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad they answered my question right after I asked it. Okay, so someone, probably working with Voldemort, obviously, put his name in that cup. Also, speaking of cups, look at my cup now. So when the tea or whatever drink is hot, it, the constellations show up, and then as soon as it gets cold again, they disappear into stars. You're probably just practicing for your next interview, I expect. Why is he so pissed off? He knows him. They've been friends for like three years now. This is their fourth year of being friends. And throughout this whole time, Harry hasn't been like, Hey, look, I saved these people. I'm so cool. He's more like, oh my god, <laughs> I survived. Street Potter. Oh, you stink, Potter. Potter stinks. Just earlier on in this movie, I was thinking about how he's, he's like super cool at the school, but now everyone hates him. Why? My father and I have a bet, you see. I don't think you're gonna last 10 minutes in this tournament. He disagrees. He says he, he thinks he won't five. last five. I <laughs> oh, is it bad that I know how Draco thinks? Like what he'll say next. I was so excited for a second. I was like, yeah, I got the, I got the script right. And then I just got, <laughs> and I was like, oh, how does that reflect on me? Is that a student? Technically it's a ferret. <laughs> There were so many things wrong about that scene. Oh, my father would hear about this. Yeah, yeah, that I, that I allow to be reported. That you literally put a student down another student's pants. Um, what? Harry, it's not you. <laughs> what? It was like, no, it's me, Edward. Oh, I guess it's his turn first. They're going one by one. Oh man, I thought they were just gonna let them like go out into the forest and like find the dragon. Then I was like, Harry could just be like, oop, never found it. My bad. <laughs> I'm out, bye. I'm still not over the fact that she's a baby and he looks like he's 18. And he's definitely older, like 17 or older because he was able to put his name in the cup. I think he's got a bit more than friendship on his mind. So does Ron. He's way too old. What? What? That's what you think? Yeah, that's what I think. Next time there's a ball, pluck up the courage and ask me before somebody else does. She straight up went for it. She straight up was just like, you like me, ask me next time. Aww. Is someone else in the background crying? Are they okay? <laughs> okay, I was a prefect my senior year of high school and I wish we had that as like a, a prefect bathroom with that giant bubble bath. Minus Myrtle, probably, sorry. 
Just like, <laughs> girl. What? When a son of mine. The tongue. He did the tongue thing too. Didn't the other guy do that tongue thing? The one with the 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 eye. It was like really really quick. That it reminded me of a snake. I don't know. I I shouldn't trust him. Oh. Yeah. And is the girl alright? Oh, I hope she's okay. Yeah. Oh my god, he's gotta come back to save him. So I'm assuming after this game ends, they just like release them? The girl and him? Alright, Cedric, you gotta let Harry get this one. Don't go running after the light. Go on, take it! You saved me, take it! Together! One, two, three! He's been a real team player so far, Cedric. They at Tom Riddle's house. Where are we? Looks like a cemetery. Ah. Ew! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Who are you? What do you want? Kill the spare! No! 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 We, 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 uh, we, we can't. <laughs> we yeah, same. We can't just gloss over. Did did he die? Ew! <laughs> I don't want to see that either. What is going on? Sacrificed. Oh! Okay. I'm really hoping he's not dead. If, cause, cause that means that if he hadn't grabbed the cup, he would have been alive. Cause I'm assuming the maze wasn't gonna kill him, so the girl is alive. Unless the girl died too. I'm just completely ignoring his face. I mean, honestly, it's better than the BB Voldemort. I did not appreciate it. <laughs> did not like that at all. Can we go back to Cedric? Looks like a baby hand. I'm going to kill you, Harry Potter. No, you won't, because I still have five, six, seven, eight, four more movies to watch. I thought this type of battle would happen like the last movie, not all of a sudden in the middle of the franchise. Take my body back, will you? Take my body back to my father. Oh, that was really sad. I kind of didn't believe it until... <laughs> What's up? Until he said, take my body back. Uh, they're not even aware of what, what happened yet, because they're cheering. Okay, so she is alive. So the maze would have just thrown him back up. Voldemort's back. Cedric, he asked me to bring his body back. I couldn't leave him. Not that. It's all right, Harry. The death didn't even get to me. It was the... Oh, man, I'm fully crying. This is my boy! It was this. The my fact boy. that he, like, even in... <laughs> this dude with Potter in his face. It was the fact that he was still thinking of his... <laughs> let, me, let me wipe my tears first. It was the fact that he was still thinking of his family. And that was, like, his... his... <laughs> I can't talk when the dad is sobbing. Under <laughs> underneath what I'm trying to say. The Dark Lord. What was it like to stand in his presence? That's what I'm saying. He w he wants to stand in his presence. My instinct with that part with that tongue thing was right. Wait, is that not him? Is he like taking a potion to help him stop from transforming into a creature or something? In the graveyard where there are others. At the graveyard. I. You didn't tell him. I don't think I said anything about a graveyard. Yeah, no, you didn't. <laughs> You know who I am? Dumbledore went full on Al Pacino. Do you know who I am? <laughs> Do you know who I am? Sorry, Albus. That's moody, but then who's... So he was a good guy. He was just locked up and it's this whatever you're going to end up being. David Tennant. <laughs> David Tennant again. I think little child Stephanie was right so far at least, uh, watching these four movies, that this has been my favorite out of the four. There's just more, a lot more plot development happening, a lot of action going on outside of just them at Hogwarts. Even though technically the competition was at Hogwarts, it didn't feel like it. And it got the most reaction and emotion out of me. And the plot line is advancing with Voldemort, so lots of things are going on. I like this one a lot. So I was thinking of watching these four and then going to bed because it's after midnight but i'm thinking of just watching the fifth one as well <laughs> so let's just watch the fifth one next harry potter, harry potter. Harry potter. Harry potter. Yeah. all right the fifth movie 
It is after midnight. I got myself some croissants. So let's start watching. It's so silly of me, but it sounded. Okay, I don't like her. <laughs> we also wish to welcome our new Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher, Professor Dolores Umbridge. Every single year they get a new dark arts teacher. And there it's never good news. I don't trust her. I don't like her. Practices that ought to be prohibited. <laughs> oh no, that laugh. She's evil. She's evil and she's stuck on old traditions and old ways. This is a lie. It's not a lie. I saw him. I fought Detention, him. Mr. Potter! I want you to write, I must not tell lies. <sighs> Is it using his blood? Okay, she's, she's, she's crazy. You've got to tell Dumbledore. No, bloody hell, Harry. The woman's torturing you. She's not even, I don't even want to call her crazy. She's just abusive. Abusive physically and emotionally because she's legitimately trying to gaslight the students and gaslight Harry. She's taking over the entire school. We've got to be able to defend ourselves. And if Umbridge refuses to teach us how, we need someone who will. Snape. Snape will help. He's been wanting to be the dark arts teacher for so long. And you know he's in the order, so you can trust him. There you go. Solved it for you. <laughs> Solved it for you. <laughs> Does she already know? Like how they were looking for a real dark arts teacher. And then they just got Harry. What if I'm becoming bad? You're not a bad person. You're a very good person. Who? bad things have happened to him. He's so good for him. When all this is over, we'll be a proper family. I don't know why that made me worried. What he said about them, when all this is over, we'll be a proper family. Felt a little bit too perfect. I don't know if this went perfectly. Because we already had one casualty. And this was before the war even started. 14 years ago, a Death Eater named Bellatrix Lestrange used the Cruciatus curse on my parents. She tortured them. I hope there's a battle with Neville and Bellatrix at the end, and Neville wins. Filthy half-breed! In the <laughs> Tell them I mean no harm! I must not tell lies. What are you doing?! Harry said bye. I think I'm becoming sassier as it approaches 3am. <laughs> I'm like becoming a little bit delirious. I will, but first you will fetch it for me. He's gonna go after him. He should be here. He has to be alive because they wouldn't have given him an off-screen death. Oh, tricks are strange. Never long about him, is it? How's mom and dad? Better now they're about to be avenged. <laughs> Neville did not come to play. He is ready. Protector! I feel like Ginny is super powerful and they haven't given her enough screen time. Did you actually believe children stood a chance? I mean, baby Harry stood a chance against Voldemort, so why not? Couldn't he have caused a series? Oh, wait, they don't use phones. Couldn't he have, like, sent Sirius a message and been like, hey, you okay? Get away from my blood, There son. he is. I want you to take the others and get out of here. What? No, let me take it from here. I'm still thinking about Cedric. Like... If he had just gotten dragged underneath by the trees, or if they hadn't insisted on holding the cup together, would he still be alive? What? 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 Why did it take his body? Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. I was so distracted by Cedric, and then I look back, and then, was serious? Is, is he gone? I didn't expect him to... Like, I was, I thought they were hinting at it with the family, like, we'll be a perfect family thing. But I figured it would be, like, during the last movie or the second to last movie or something. Not, like, later on in the same movie where they said it. Look at me. I did not want to look at Voldemort in a hoodie. <laughs> what are these shots of Voldemort? He looks like he's, like, in a, uh, like, in a singing group. All right, so that was the fifth one. It's almost 3 a.m. It's basic, it's 3 a.m. <laughs> I knew it was a smart idea to wear my PJs. Now I don't have to change. All right, I'm gonna go brush my teeth and we'll continue watching the last three movies tomorrow morning. Harry Potter, no! Harry Potter, no! Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Yeah. All right, good morning. So now we are going to watch the sixth movie. Also, this is my doggy here, Stitch. 
and we're wearing matching PJs for the holidays. He's gonna take a nap in the background while we keep watching. Harry! Is he up there with you? Apparently he's wandering about the house. Really? Really? Harry! <laughs> was he just standing there instead of being like, hey, it's, I'm here? He was just like, when are they gonna stop talking? Put it down, Bella. We mustn't touch what isn't ours. Okay, what? Are they there to convince him to come back? Over the years, I've played my part well, so well, I've deceived one of the greatest wizards of all time. I don't know <laughs> if I believe that he's evil. Severus name fulfill the Dark Lord's wishes. I mean, it's looking pretty bad for him right now. Liquid luck. One sip and you will find that all of your endeavors succeed. That's a good thing about used textbooks. If they have useful notes in them, it's so good. Felix Felicis, congratulations. Oh, bloody hell. Oh. I'd like to leave. What if she looked over here and saw you studying me? Would you expect her to get up and leave? <laughs> My earphones fell off in the shock. She is so... She's so... I don't even know. Just the confidence in her. It's just like, what if you were kissing me? <laughs> Oh my god. Imagine you're at school, you went to a cafe with your friend, you're on the walk back and you see that. If she was delivering that to Professor Dumbledore, she wasn't doing it knowingly. Yes, she was cursed. It was Malfoy. Your evidence? I just know. At least say, I saw him in there. I saw him walk through the door where she was or something. Because you did see that, I think. I don't think Harry can be a lawyer or a track star. Put it in. I thought you did. That's amazing! Oh! Yeah, I was gonna say, Hermione's, Hermione has to leave right now. To life! <gasps> I refuse to believe he died. Okay. Ron has been the most stressful character <laughs> this entire time. He got mad at Harry for the whole movie for no reason. Now he's over here almost dying on me. <laughs> on me, <laughs> on all of us, on Harry. You never know what you'll find up here. Harry's like, I found love. <gasps> Ginny's like same, me too. That's it. All I need is a bit of luck. He should have saved that for the battle with Voldemort. A Horcrux, an object in which a person has concealed part of their soul. In other words, you cannot die. So how many are there? Seven? Are we gonna find out who the Half-Blood Prince is? I'm assuming it's Voldemort, because it's always Voldemort. <laughs> oh man, there's still so much left. You did it, sir. We need to get you to the hospital wing, sir. Severus. Severus is who I need. No, go to the nurse. I don't trust Snape as much anymore. I don't know if I ever did, but... Especially after seeing him make that deal, that unbreakable deal with Bellatrix and all the other people. Draco? Good evening, Draco. You are no assassin. He can handle himself. You have to go get Snape, I think. I don't know if that's the best course of action right now. I have to do this. Why? I have to kill you. Why? He's gonna kill me. Oh. <gasps> I don't know if I can trust him. Please, I've had a cut off. I'm so mad I trusted him. I'm so mad at him. I, tr I knew I shouldn't have trusted him, but for some reason I kept oh. trusting him, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. The death scenes so far have been so quick, and then they immediately just cut away from it and into another action sequence, another another plot development. Usually in movies it lingers and it allows me to like get into my emotions. Did you dare use my own spells against me? Did you make them? I'm the half-blood prince. <gasps> oh, you did make them. I thought it was gonna be either Voldemort, but then I was like half-blood and he's like all about like pure blood and like all that stuff, racist stuff. <laughs> Um, so now I was thinking maybe Dumbledore? But I, wow. It's fake. What? 
I have stolen the real Horcrux and intend to destroy it. So they did all of that for nothing. Which means it was all a waste. Hermione's gonna be encouraging. Like, no, it wasn't a waste. You and Ginny. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> She's like, let me change the subject. I've got to finish whatever Dumbledore started. That's so annoying. So why did he have to suffer through all of that for nothing? Yeah, right? <laughs> Can you see him? That one was a lot. The ending was a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay, we are up to the last two movies. The last book. Harry Potter! Yeah. Harry Potter! Yeah. Harry Potter! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Ooh, starting off right with some eyes. Coming, Mom! Oh, we get an insight into Hermione's life. Come on, Just kidding. <laughs> that was like two Just seconds. I thought we were gonna get to see more of Hermione and her dentist parents, learn more about her in the Muggle world. Oh, we are okay. Obliviate. Wait, what? Why? This is part one, right? Why is she like certain that she's not coming back? So she just wants to erase herself from her parents' memory so that they don't they don't feel the heartbreak of losing her okay it is part one potter you're underage which means you've still got the trace on you you have to use those means of transport the trace can't detect i believe you're familiar with this particular brew oh that's from the beginning when there were babies and she transformed into a cat instead of a person <laughs> he just shrunk okay <laughs> that shrinking reminded me of <laughs> One time I went to the movie theaters and I didn't realize they were having like a screening of one of Daniel Radcliffe's new movie. They were there. I was just meeting up with a friend to go watch a movie and I just casually went and there was like a little red carpet and Daniel Radcliffe was right there. And I don't fangirl or get starstruck very often, like at all. But for some reason, like I, this is the first time I'm even seeing these movies. So it's not like, oh, I've seen him so much in the big screen or anything like that. I... I was just like, oh, that's him. And then I was like, oh my God, <laughs> and just froze in there. And then the security guard was like, just like, move along, move along. And I was like, oh, I, I literally can't turn my <laughs> eyes away. <laughs> um, but that reminded me of it because they shrunk and he was short because I'm short. And he was like around my height, a little bit taller. That's the story of the only time I've seen Daniel Radcliffe in real life. Wow, we're identical. Not yet, <laughs> I kind of hated that, but it made me laugh. <laughs> oh my god. Daniel had to do all of these takes and do all of these different outfit switches. I'm <laughs> I literally almost cried. <laughs> I'm just imagining how many different outfit switches he had to do. And he gets to play all these different characters and their personalities. Is that Hedwig? <gasps> It's been like five minutes. Oh, it's actually been like 20 minutes. <laughs> but still, how is it already so intense? Mad is dead. Is that the person we saw for like one second on screen and then they left? You think Mad Eye died for you? Wait, Mad Eye? Wait, so Moody died. They called him Mad, Mad Eye and I heard like Mad Eye or something. So I didn't realize that was him. They gave him an off screen death. Dumbledore left you. Hogwarts. The sword of Godric Gryffindor. Oh. <laughs> is it here to take the whole school? Xenophil is love good. We live just over the head. We fully supported Dumbledore in his lifetime and in his death. That necklace. I've seen that symbol before. I don't know where, but I've seen it. He took many things, including the locket. Who did? Fletcher. Man, don't, is that Fletcher? The one who went with Mad-Eye Moody? There's so many characters. I'm just trying to remember them all. Hey, losers. He isn't here. Neville's like, you're not wasting any more of my time with this. He's not here. Get out. I feel like Neville's just as sassy as Harry, if not more so. Dobby. When some ministry aide comes up and asks to see me license, who was he? Umbridge. what I tell you? If we're talking about the ministry and law and order and evil, <laughs> it's Umbridge. How long did you say this batch of politics would last, Hermione? I didn't. Downstairs. To interrogate your wife. Oh my god. What am I gonna do? My wife's all alone downstairs. <laughs> Ron. Ron, you don't have a wife. What 
on earth are you doing, Albert? You're lying, Dolores. One mustn't tell lies. Stupid! Harry was traumatized by that carving punishment. He's still like, remember when you said when you forced all of us little kids to carve that onto our skin? He's pissed. Mary, go home. Get the kids. I'll meet you there. <laughs> Ron is still like, I'm married, I have kids. Mary? Who's that? <laughs> oh my god. This is like an episode of, <laughs> of Casa Cerrado. That's for all the Spanish speaking <laughs> families out there. Did they say Sever Snape is the, the headmaster? I wonder why him and not like McGonagall. <laughs> I just want all the best to McGonagall. She's been so supportive to all her students. And in case you haven't noticed, we have found a Horcrux already. Yeah, and we're about as close to getting rid of it as we are to finding the rest of them, aren't we? Maybe you can just eat it. <laughs> it's probably... That would be my plan. They would be like, Steph, shut up. Or do the death spell on the necklace. Does that work? You think I don't know how this feels? No, you don't know how it feels! Your parents are dead! You have no family! <laughs> I did not expect Ron to be the most confusing, emotionally confusing character, infuriating character, <laughs> literally since the beginning. Fine. I get it. I saw you two the other night. There's a greater good to look at Ron. It does not have to do with romance all the freaking time. There's, we're trying to save people's lives. We're trying to... We're <laughs> I somehow included myself in that. <laughs> they're, they're trying to save people's lives. They're trying to stop Voldemort. Somebody inked it in. That's it the past thing the book. from... Somebody drew it. Luna's dad was wearing that. Yeah, exactly. Okay, Ron. Do it. Yes. Oh, man. Ew, are they naked? <laughs> His worst fears are seeing Hermione and Harry naked kissing. <laughs> Ew. Kind of mine too now, actually. There you go. Hit it, hit it. Yay! What's wrong with his face? So Hermione zapped him so that they wouldn't be able to recognize him. What are you doing here? Dobby's come to rescue Harry Potter, of course. Uh. Grab the wand. Who gets his wand? Dobby's already one step ahead. <laughs> I feel like Draco didn't fight it. Hard enough for that one. Dobby is a free elf, and Dobby has come to save Harry Potter and his friends. Go quickly, go quickly, go quickly, go quickly, go quickly, go quickly, go quickly. Oh my goodness, this is so slow. Okay, be careful when you land, because a knife went with you. Okay, he's fine. Oh no. It's such a tiny freaking blade. Hold on. Okay. Oh wow, he's bleeding so much. Hold on. Help me. Help him. Dobby what? is happy to be with his friend. Stop it. <laughs> we should close his eyes. Don't you think? There. Now he could be sleeping. I'm, I'm like, why did that one get to me? But it's because the other two... Ugh. The other two were so quick and abrupt. This one, we have the, the heartfelt moment after. It was heartbreaking because of what he said. Same with, with Cedric. It was because he was like, he was talking about his family and then, <laughs> let me wipe my tears first. And now he's talking about his friends and just like letting them know to not be too sad for him because he died happy and he died free. I'm laughing because if, <laughs> if I don't, I will full on start sobbing. Was he buried with it? He got to it before they did. Wow, okay. So now we are on to the last one. I think someone has died in like, in all the, probably in all the movies actually. But, so I'm expecting someone else to die in the next, in the next movie as well, especially because it's the finale. Harry Potter, no! Harry Potter, no! Sam. Harry Potter. No! Yeah. Okay, we are officially watching the last movie now. So I have some more croissants and a strawberry banana smoothie. All right, let's watch the last one. You told him about
out the Elder Wand. There's no telling whether he will find it. He did. You sure that's hers? Positive. How do I look? Who is that? Is that wrong? <laughs> we literally cannot see his face. Oh, he was even wearing a fake mustache. The cup of the sword! He needs a sword to get the, to break the, he should have been like, okay, hold on a second, broke it, and then they put it back to him. Yes, free the dragon. Oh, this is gonna be cute. I mean, cute, <laughs> uh, cool. It was just like, shoot up, rock their normal day. Yeah. Step forward. I like that they're using a cool tone compared to the really warm RNG tones of the first movie to show how much the school has changed under Snape. Tell them how you looked him in the eye. A man who trusted you and killed him. McGonagall, stand out. <laughs> I like you too much. Yay! Uh-oh. Oh, wow. They brought back those same warm tones I was just talking about. But for a second, then right back to the cool tones. Give me Harry Potter. Do this and none shall be hard. She's clearly a new student. They're all there to defend him. Grab two, just in case. <laughs> okay. Was Neville by himself up there? Boy, boy, what? What do you think you're doing? <laughs> He's holding on to it. He's holding on to it. He's okay. He's holding on to it. Come on. Up, up, up. Up. There you go. Come on. It's Neville. Come on. There you go. Of course. Whew. Hurry up. Hurry up before someone drags you. I feel like I can spit fire. You haven't seen Luna, have you? I'm like Flora. I think it's about time I told her since we'll probably both be dead by dawn. <laughs> Everyone's just like, we, we might die. Let's just kiss. Ah! No, I haven't set the bloody place on fire. Just grabbed Hermione and was like, bye Harry. Ah! Okay, we just watched someone die. We can't leave them. He's joking, right? <laughs> He's like, psych. While you live, the Elder One cannot truly be mine. My lord. What? <laughs> Everyone is dying. What the heck? Oh, is he still a little bit alive? Can they talk to him? Get his last words, get him to be like, I'm so sorry, I'm on the right side of history. No, he's not at this point. Take them. Please. You have your mother's eyes. I know the book has more backstory on the relationship between him and the mom. And so I'm sure if I knew more about that story, that line would have been more impactful for me. But I just remember something about him being in love with her. Okay, what's going on here? What? Oh, at least she's still alive. Okay, we are getting that little backstory. He knew to check the tears for memories. I didn't, I, I thought they were gonna be used like as a potion to cure someone or to like, <laughs> I would have thrown it at <laughs> Voldemort. He would have been like, what? Ew. You must be the one to kill me. Sims. What? Only then will the Dark Lord trust you completely. I'm mad because I was right in keeping my trust in him. And I had so much trust in him for no reason. I don't know why I refused to let go of the trust in him. So when he killed Dumbledore, I was so angry at him because it was like I, I still trusted him up until that moment. And then I was right in trusting him. <laughs> I was still right in trusting him. Oh, so it was still all part of their plan. Okay, let me keep watching this because... I, I need to understand what the ending, what their like goal of this plan is. You've kept him alive so that he can die at the proper moment. Oh. Wow, okay. <laughs> they literally answered it right, right as I asked it. You've been raising him like a pig for slaughter. Don't tell me now that you've grown to care for him. What? So was Dumbledore not as good of a person as we all thought he was? He must die. And Voldemort himself must do it. Oh, that was so much to unpack. I feel like Tyra Banks. I trusted you. <laughs> we were all rooting for you. <laughs> come to Did he say come to die or come to daddy? I don't like either of those. 
Okay, <laughs> he said come to die. That's a bit better <laughs> than what I heard. I don't believe he dies. I'm not even gonna get emotional <laughs> because I don't believe he dies. There's like no way. There's no way. A part of him lives within me, doesn't it? Did you were the Horcrux he never meant to make. So Dumbledore is good. He's just logical. I guess he's good and bad because the point is that no one person is entirely good or entirely bad. So he has his faults, but he's a person that Harry trusts. Harry Potter is dead! And now is the time to declare yourself well done. He's trying not to laugh. That was such an awkward hug. Never no. Never wouldn't. He's gonna come up to him and slap him. You're wrong. Don't kill him. It's not over. I was wondering how long Harry was gonna let Hagrid just hold on to him. Okay, this is the final battle scene I was expecting. With both their wands. Yes, Neville. He's great. He's great. Okay, it looks like little pieces of a plastic bag. Do you do you ever feel like a plastic bag? It's mine. Most powerful wand in the world. With that, we'd be invincible. Gotta break it. No one needs that much power. Break it. Break it, break it, break it, break it. Yeah! <laughs> I knew it. Good job. Is that it? 19 years later? That's such a specific number. Oh! Oh, he didn't have anyone to go with him. He had Ron. Now he gets to go with his son. Albus Severus Potter. Albus? You were named after two headmasters of Hogwarts. I- Severus? I didn't even catch the middle name. Wow. He really cared for both of them to name his children after them. Wait, does he still have the mark? I don't see it. Is it gone? Did they forget to put it on? <laughs> they forgot to put it on him? I don't think so. Is it only on him for as long as, I forgot his name. Oh, Voldemort, Voldemort was alive. Maybe I might see something there, but I think I just see it everywhere. I think it's gone. That's it. Those are all the movies. Oh, wow. All right. Well, that took up like my entire weekend. <laughs> they were so good though. All right, subscribe for more videos and thank you for watching.